Here we're going to learn how to use the UK postcode area map customization tool. So what we do is we click start here to begin. Now insert new name, type in the names of the people you want to appear in the key. Click add, the name appears over here. Click insert new name again and type Fred. Add and insert new name again, John. Add. Oh dear, we might have made a mistake, so what we'll do is we'll change John for Pete and just click edit and that will change it over here. So now we have three names in here. If we've got many, many more names than three, uh, we can have up to 52. Um, you might want to zoom in or zoom out the key make it larger or smaller so it doesn't cover the uh, southeast of the UK there. So what we'll do is we'll keep it back at where it was when we started. Now we can go along and set the map titles. Map title up there we can say um, Andrew's test map update and that will update at the top of the map. Now for the key over here we can change the word heading to key. Update. Uh, customize the labels. We don't want to do any of this yet but what we can do is we can change the colors of things as you see the map border, the title background. We, we can do all sorts of things. We'll set them back to default colors for now. So we've populated our legend. We've got our names in here and now what we want to do is color the map. So Andrew is going to color for the northern half just click in the postcode areas. Try not to click on the actual letters themselves or the names of towns. Um, so that's Andrew. Now we'll go for Fred. Like so. And Pete. Now for small tiny ones like this here, SR, you might want to zoom in. So we'll zoom in a few times. Pan using these arrow buttons and then we can get in there, click the arrows. So if we don't like the colours that have been automatically assigned to us we can click in these boxes next to the word, next to the name, sorry, and we can change the colours. Like so. And once we've done that we can uh, customise the labels so we can show area labels we can show town names or hide town names and also some dots that appear next to the town names. And if we want to, if we're doing a delivery zones map, what we can do is go add circles to the map, show circles. We'll use the default settings for now and we will do set circle center. So we pick an area on the map, click there and as we can see some circles have appeared. Now what I want to do is zoom in on those, get them in the middle of the screen. This would be ideal for something like a delivery zones map. Now what we can do is change the labels for say um, uh, area one will be ten pounds, area two will be twenty pounds, Area 3, £30. Area 4, call for price. Yep, and that changes that. Now, font size, we can increase or decrease the, the size of the font for the labels. We can change the colour of each of the rings, like so. <coughs> this is a hideous map, but anyway. Circle thickness. Can make really bold circles there. Reset zoom will take us back to there. Now that's that. Um, uh, the only other thing really is if we want to use the southern half of the country we need to unlock the map and that's where we have to buy it. If you've got an unlock code already you can pop that in here at any time in the process um, but we don't have an unlock code so what we would do is go get unlock that takes us to this page and this is where we we can see what we're going to get um, 
and confirm and pay by credit card. Once we've done that, what I won't take through that process, but once you've gone through the whole process, um, your email address then becomes your unlock code. So if we go back here and we use gbmaps.com unlock, that unlocks the southern half of the country. So now we can untick set a circle. Actually we'll we'll hide the circles because we don't want those on. We can go back and continue colouring the southern half of the country. And once we've once we've got the map looking how exactly how we want it, we can then save it. Now we can save it as A4, A3, A2 or A1. We'll stick with A4. Click save and we'll get rid of that. Then it takes us to this page where we can download the PDF file. We can edit the map, or if you are likely to want to edit that map in the future, you pop your email address in here and click send me the links. Then you will be emailed automatically links to come back and edit your map in future. If you don't do that and you want to edit it in a week's time, it's going to be very difficult to find your map. So rather than clicking the back button if we want to go back and edit the map now, what we need to do is click edit map and it takes us back here. Then we can do we can do things like we can delete names on the legend, we can we can just do whatever we want and go back and save it again. So that's it for the postcode area map tutorial. Thanks for watching.